Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to get started here in just a minute. Happy Sunday. Hello, Diva. Welcome. If you ladies would go ahead and hit the thumbs up, I'm going to try to keep tonight short and sweet. Hello, Delise. Happy Sunday. JL Baggins. Hello, the handbag hauler. Welcome. Happy Sunday to Diane Brody. Hello, DJ King. The Closet Dive. Hello. You're going to make me take a, a retail therapy trip this week after the pictures you sent me today. I'm just saying. I think you should go sit in the enabler corner. If you ladies would go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I am going to shoot for... 30 minutes or less tonight. So with that being the case, hello, Ingrid. I am going to jump right in. So the first thing is um, $59 Wednesday caught me, hello, Lucinda, caught me completely off guard. I was torn between the accessories I wanted versus those that I needed versus the color stories that I've been trying to build um, to behave, right? Because I'm not just buying for the sake of buying. I'm buying where there's a gap in my accessory collection now. So I really struggled um, with that sale. And quite honestly, I struggled so bad that I didn't pull the trigger on anything. Um, but before that, I was... Um, calling around to the outlet stores with that doggone DJ King. And there were a couple of other accessories that were on sale. And I did pull the trigger on those. That being said, I want to share with you the fact that when my box came, Not only was it completely intact, do y'all see how much stuffing is in this box? So, first I want to apologize <laughs> for anyone who did not get stuffing in their box because I got it all in mine. <laughs> Every bit of it. It was <laughs> extreme. And I will say this, <laughs> in all fairness, I did make sure that the sales associate knew who they were shipping to because I wanted to be fair. Um, but the second outlet that I ordered from, because I placed two separate orders, um, outlets on, you know, two different parts of the country, different time zones, did not know who they were shipping to. And that is still how they shipped it. So this was not from the outlet that knew me, even though, you know, they knew this was not from the one that knew me. My receipt came in an envelope with the gold seal on the back. I got four different Dooney duck stickers on the inside. And so here's the envelope on the inside and they packaged 
them very nicely. So I'm going to do just a little bit of a rant for just a minute. I'm not going to call it a sip and cuss because that is not where I'm going tonight. But my rant is this. Receiving not one, but two packages from two different outlets days apart with more than ample stuffing, packaging, uh, stickers, the receipt packaged in an envelope, this box gave a completely different feel to me. Um, I felt like either A, they didn't want me to like sip and cuss over packages from their outlets um, on a Sunday live stream, or the outlets at least are hearing us loud and clear about uh, shipping our, you know, uh, the shipping and the fact that we're spending our money and that we should get better level of service and better quality. That's all I'm saying. This proves to me that it is within Dooney's power, within its company, within its um, supply chain and logistics network to properly package and ship product with more than sufficient stuffing and it deliver an impressive delivery experience. I have never received a box from Dooney that um, came with that kind of, of, of packaging situation. It immaculately done. So shout out to both the Las Vegas outlet and to the Aurora outlet because I received packages from both of those outlet stores this week and they did an amazing job. So to the essay that took um, my order and shipped it to the store managers that I dealt with um, that shipped orders, I just wanna say thank you because just when I felt like the light was going completely black at the end of my Dooney and Burke uh, tunnel, I get this level of um, service because the items were not ones that were readily available um, everywhere. And they took the time to package them with care. So that being said, let me tell you about, so two items came from one store and one came from the other. I already opened one of them and I opened it because it was packaged so amply, so in abundance that I thought that they had shipped me the wrong item. That is how much stuffing and packaging and tape and how well it was put together. I literally opened it, looked at it and said, they shipped me the wrong thing. This package is not supposed to be this big. They shipped the wrong thing. And when I opened it up, I was pleasantly surprised that it was in fact exactly what I had ordered and what I was looking for, what I was hoping for, what I had been stalking for, but that they had packaged it so well that the shape of the package was altered. So I, again, I just want to say thank you after several damaged boxes, after loose tape after, um, as Sonja Covington would say, after thousand year old cow leather in the mauve Florentine, it was refreshing to get an item that was at an amazing price in the color I was looking for with great customer service, with flawless shipping, 
Package arrived unscathed and there was ample stuffing in the inside. So it can be done. I can't vouch for every outlet store because as we were ordering some Montego items back last summer, I was highly disappointed with the way one of the outlets shipped one of my gym bags. And for the record, it was not Chicago or Aurora, and it was not Las Vegas. It was also not Williamsburg because y'all know I'm pretty much in and out of those pretty often. It was not one of those three. It was not um, Orlando. It was not Vero Beach. So I mean, I'm just going to kind of leave it there. Um, it, but I was a little disappointed. So this, although some of you may be just receiving your first box from Dooney that was scathed. <laughs> um, this has been going on at least off and on for a year. And if you don't believe me, for those of you that have been with me, remember when this arrived and the tassel was literally hanging on the outside of the box because the box was so badly beaten. Um, it was either weak when it left Dooney or it was traumatized in transit this has been going on for a while so it was really nice to get something that when i got it off of the porch it was completely the way it should have been now i am going to show you the items that i picked up but first what i want to do is do a little bit of a color comparison Y'all, I know you have heard this probably a million times in your lifetime, but there's a saying that says, great minds think alike. And when I got up this morning and checked my YouTube feed and I saw that my tribe sister, DJ King, had also uploaded um, her tech top zip pouch, I think that's the name. Dooney should have really just called that like a tech pouch or anyway. Um, I was like, great minds think alike because we were basically uploading our videos at the same time. Both of us, um, as the story is told amongst us, passed out last night and our videos finally finished uploading. We had not discussed what we were uploading. We had not discussed accessories from Dooney, although we were discussing them from other brands. Um, we had not planned to piggyback videos off of each other. It just happened that way. So I was ecstatic when I saw it this morning and called her immediately because I too have both the short and the long true green straps from MK. And the fact that I purchased this little tech case as an accessory to go inside of my grass piper and to be able to use it not only as a wristlet but as a small purse made me feel really good about the purchase. Really, really good about the purchase. So, from a color comparison, grass, leaf. Some of you may be a little bit, I don't have anything Kelly Green to compare it to. I know that for my tribe sister, um, Carmen Hawkins, and says what green is their favorite color. But this is leaf in case you were trying to figure out, well, what's the difference between leaf and grass? Leaf and this one is grass. We also bought a lot of, bought some matching accessories, like matchy matchy accessories. And then in other scenarios, we may not have purchased anything at all. So I pulled out bag that I picked up last summer from QVC in nylon, the Kendra satchel. If you remember this. So whether I wanted to go with white, quite honestly, I could go with like my gold Carrington if I wanted to, or a natural colored one. 
If you picked up Siesta or Montego in any color and you were looking for something to match, to pull these together, to give you some options in case you missed out on some of the matchy matchy accessories, grass actually goes, in my opinion, and, and I know this is large, but I do have a couple of larger pieces. To me, although we were comparing leaf to this last year and I guess it could still go it coordinates but if you're looking for something that's really going to match I would say take a look at grass in pebbled leather highs lows perfect and it will fit inside of here and take up very little space all right so here's the other thing if you have um been in an outlet been in macy's been in dillard's been in belk um then you know that there is a, another dooney accessory in um this same silhouette that's called ginger and it's like a little pushette she's got a little bit wider butt than the tech case but this would that um, would also be comparable to this. But I think this could pass more for a large wallet size as opposed to ginger that has um, a similar strap. All right, so grass in pebbled and leaf in Safiano. Okay, just so that you have a color comparison. Now, confession, part of the reason I did not pull the trigger, right? So I'm coming full circle. I only told you part of the story. Part of the reason I did not pull the trigger on Wallet Wednesday, or as I call it, $59 Wallet Wednesday is because the accessory that I was stalking um, was available at the outlets and on clearance in certain colors for $43.20. So even having to pay the $7 shipping um so this is the large Carrington and they have one color available on ILD, so ilovedooney.com if you do a search for Carrington. I think it's either in the color Calypso or Jade. I was just noticing one of the comments. Um, but even with um, $7 shipping from the outlet, it still ended up being cheaper. So I purchased the accessory that I was looking for from the outlets and hence two um, deliveries from two different outlets, same accessory, three different colors. But the reason that I'm doing, you're welcome, Sharon. Um, the reason that I wanted to do this tonight um, is a little bit of a comparison because the clutch wristlet for me was a late discovery so late in fact um, i didn't discover it until june specifically i remember the date as it was a part of the infamous gate a5 live stream remember that one and if you ladies recall my sister actually participated that night in the live stream and ended up taking the infamous A5 gate clutch as part of her birthday present. And I say part because she ended up with some other items as well. But because that um, was late, I was talking to um, DJ King and she introduced me to the tech top pouch. Tech top pouch or 
whatever they're calling it, zip top tech pack. No, I think it's tech top pack. Anyway, so she introduced me to that one. And then before the um, Wallet Wednesday, there was a sale. And I'm trying to think. Um, I was looking at the small Carrington. And I was trying to figure out how many card slots were in it. They had great colors. The price on it was absolutely going to be amazing. But the pictures online on Dooney suck because it just said card slots. So does that mean two slots? Because that's plural. Did it mean six slots? Like Carrington couldn't tell. So I sent a um, text message out to several of my tribe sisters and asked, does anyone have the small Carrington? And no one came back um, saying that they had it except one and one of them said you have this and i actually bought it um after your live stream so i go back and you know she pulled the date and everything for me and that's when i realized that the accessory that she purchased although it looked similar to what i um the a5 gate purchase it was not the same. So to make sure that I am, and I still don't have a small Carrington, by the way, so I still can't answer that question. Um, but I wanted to maybe uh, do a little bit, share what I bought, do a little bit of a comparison on these two accessories. And I'm going to try to get it down in like eight minutes or less because I'm shooting for 30 minutes tonight. But I wanted you to really be able to see the difference because sometimes whether it's on Dooney.com or I love Dooney or whether you're seeing it in person or whether you're seeing it on a live stream, sometimes the sizes and sometimes um, in the, you know, in the chat, we may miss what, um, hold on, I'm losing the chat. Uh oh. And it's not cooperating. All right. But sometimes we may miss um, some of the, the um, style numbers or the name or um, a description of it. And we, we get one thing and we think we got something else. So for me, because Small Carrington, the Tech Top, and the Clutch Wristlet to me are kind of, they're kind of in there together. I thought that we would explore them a little bit closer. All right. So the first one, and I've already, again, I already took this one out of the packaging because it was packaged so well that I thought they sent the wrong thing, is the clutch bracelet in the color dandelion. And as you can tell, 4320 on clearance, and it says clutch wristlet. 4320 clutch wristlet, dandelion. When I did the um, five tips for accessory organization, if you recall me talking about the um, color stories, the, the yellow, the dandelion, the, the lemon, the sunflower box that I had, I felt like it was a little light and I strategically needed to make um, a couple of additional purchases of solid colored items to pair with some of the printed textured accessories that I have in that box. So I picked this one up. This is the same accessory as the A5 gate live stream. I've um, shared this with you in wine because after I gifted the um, the sky blue to my sister, I found the wine and picked it up. Picked it up because one, it was a great price. Two, you know, the fall and the winter are your times really for your berry colors, your oxblood, your Merlots, your cranberries, your um, crimsons. So I picked that up. But I was also hoping for red and could not find it and had not seen it. But just as a comparison, clutch wristlet, tech top, or tech case. Mm 
a little bit longer. They are really about the same in width. Tech Top does have a little bit more of a base. And of course, the clutch wristlet is a little longer. Clutch wristlet actually has only one um, wristlet pull, no place for hardware on the other side. And you can detach the wristlet and you still have a zipper pull. So the wristlet, unlike on uh, some other pieces, the wristlet strap is also the zipper pull, but it can be detached. Interior. This is where I think the true difference lies between these two pieces. Because they're, you know, one's a little bit longer. They're about, the, they really are the same in height. Pretty similar. Clutch wristlet, however, on the interior has its zipper pocket in the inside on the back wall along with a slip pocket, outside pocket, zipper pocket. And you also have an, on the front wall another slip and six card slots. Can you see that? Six card slots. Both have the gold hardware, no slip, no pocket or anything on the back. Here we go. Outside front pocket. Um, let me just see. It feels it's definitely deeper and longer than the inside pocket on the clutch wristlet. And on the interior, you also have a zipper pocket on the back, no slips and six card slots on the back wall. So very similar, you just, you know, if it's a color, they're both in pebbled leather, color, concentration, you know, that's, some people like pebbles, some people don't. Um, for me, the color, color just doesn't take to me as well as vibrant in pebbled leather as it does in some other leathers. But there are some colors like these that really do pop and that I don't have a problem with the color with. All right, so that again is the difference between these two. Tech top you can use as a little purse. You can also detach the wristlet strap, put it on one side, use it as a wristlet because it has hardware on both sides, you can. Um, as says what mentioned in one of her videos, you can tuck this strap in the inside and put um, a replacement strap on it and use it as a small purse, or you can attach um, and have a double strap situation going on if you choose. But what's more important to you? Is it the size? Is it the carry? Is it the organization? Because for me, although they both have, um, you know, inside pockets, I do like the fact that this one has the slip pockets on front and back wall. But it's also pretty nice to have this outside zip pocket so that if I decided to maybe keep my phone um, maybe it's my boarding pass, it could be lipstick, it could be 
hand sanitizer. It could be those little cleanup Kleenex wipes that I've shared with you. There are lots of different things that you can use and put on the outside of this one, but it is a smidgen, as just a hair bulkier than the clutch wristlet. All right, last two. I got a stark white, paper white. It was also on clearance, $43.20. And wristlet strap there in the bottom, same setup. And the one that I have been absolutely the most excited about because I couldn't find it, didn't know that it existed until after um, I called one of the outlet stores and I asked them to run through the colors with me and they had it. The difference is this one was not 4320 because it was not on clearance. It was on sale for 50% off of the regular retail price. And what I learned is that this one was not on clearance because it's considered a basic color, right? So it's not one of the fashion colors for the summer like coral or like the sky blue or the pale blue or the dandelion. It's considered a basic color. So until I guess something major happens, it will remain at 50% off, but this one is in red. It is picking up far brighter on camera than it is in person. And if it were closer, I would do a color comparison between the red and the wine. It is in fact red. Stay right there. Red. It's not gonna. But anyway, it's not as bright, which goes back to pebbled leather, color saturation, not being great in some colors. Am I gonna keep it? Yes. Am I gonna carry it? Yes because I only thought that I was going to be able to find this color in wine and that it was going to be in, that was the closest I was going to be able to find in the red family. But being actually able to find the red, add the dandelion, which is much needed in my collection, already having the wine for my fall bags and accessories, and then white, which will be able to match and pair with anything, particularly with all of them having the Sierra trim, it was great to be able to pick these up. So $59 Wallet Wednesday was great. If it um, pops up again, I will definitely be adding strategically um, a few more tech top cases in colors that I need but if I don't find any more, I'm very pleased with the four clutch wristlets I have. And with the 25% off sale that is going on right now on ILD, I think the price comes down to $51.25, I think. Clutch wristlet, I think. Um, I may have to go back and check my math, but even in that, if um, there were other colors that I either didn't have or that I was looking for the 25% off sale for, I think it was four colors left, that would be great. Um, they had the white 
They have the wine, which I've shown on my channel before. Um, coral and... Coral, white. Oh, magenta. They are, those are the four colors that are there now. Okay, DJ King checked me, 5175. So if you were interested in those or now that you're interested that you've seen them from a comparison standpoint, the 5175 with free shipping is better than the $59 Wallet Wednesday that recently, um, the, the recent sale. What I would say is I would hold off on buying the tech cases because they have proven that they can sell these for $59. Um, wait until you can find a sale with a discount code or the, their marked down a little bit more on Dooney. Buy it for $59. Right now, I think they're eight. They st the minimum is $89 to maybe $104, I think. I'm sure I got the top end of that range wrong for these, but these were just $59. And now the starting price on select colors is $89 with an additional 25% off. I'd say hang tight. If there's anything that you want to make sure that you're getting a great deal on, it would be these. And I would call the outlet or pick them up on ILD. So that is all I have tonight. I would um, like to say thank you to my tribe sister, uh, Says What, my tribe sister, DJ King, to my tribe sister, Rosalind Ellis, to um, who else am I forgetting that helped me with this... Um, Mm, I'm forgetting someone. Charge it to my head and not my heart. But small, the small Carrington is not either of these. Not either of these. It only has, I think, four card slots. I think someone confirmed that for me. And Millie only has three card slots. Don't have Millie. Have been toying over the idea of getting a Millie crossbody and using it as a wallet in either Pebbled or Safiano. But I have not pulled the trigger on it because as you can tell, if I'm getting accessories, my preference are those that have more card slots as opposed to those that have fewer. Have a good night and a great week, Bagham. Um, so someone asked me when I got my first Dooney. I purchased my first Dooney um, the same day that I took my national certification and got passed my exam and got certified for my industry, which has been several, not many, I'm just going to claim several moons ago. Um, but I bought a little Dooney um, red smooth Florentine hobo. It, they call it the Harrison now. Um, it was just a hobo on the tag when I bought it wide gorgeous strap i'll have to i keep saying i'm a couple store bag stories that i need to get through maybe i'll get through those during the holidays but um it's been forever since i bought my first duty and my second duty was after being on that job um my first job when i got promoted i went and bought another duty and then when I certified at the next level, um, nationally, professionally, I bought another Dooney and then it just kind of became a reward and then it became comfort and then it just became a hobby in what I did. It became a, a, a long list of other things, but um, that's kind of how I got started with Dooney. I wanted a bag 
that was quality, that was going to have longevity, that would stand the test of time, that would be worth my coinage. <laughs> and um, I took the plunge and purchased my first Dooney um, as a gift to myself for uh, passing the national exam for my profession. So that's kind of how it started. Please make sure um, that you hit the thumbs up before you head out. And if you have not been over to check out uh, the content on my Tribe Sisters channels, all I'm saying is you need to get your life together and get over to their channels and check them out. Mrs. Q hosted For Real Friday. If you have not watched, go check it out. It was a good one. My tribe sister, Kimberly Mines, hosted Tribe Time on yesterday. My tribe sister says what got me all excited because she shared in her video um, upload today the bags that she carried last week. And she has amazing taste and carried some Dooney classics this past week. So go over and check out her channel. If you have not checked out my um, tribe sister, The Closet Dive, she will have you on Brahmin looking to make a purchase there from her uh, journey to the tent sale. My tribe sister, DJ King, who clearly has tapped into my brain because we are posting similar content without discussion. We gonna talk about that later, ma'am. We gonna get it together. We gonna co collaborate on something. Um, my tribe sister Sonja, um, I think Sonja's correct me if I'm wrong. Your last upload was over your new iPhone. I think I got that right. Somebody let me know if I got that wrong. Have I missed a video? Okay, I think I got it right. Um, so check out Military Mom. She posted this morning before she went to worship service and she has on a gorgeous dress and she kind of talked to Dooney and Coach. Not going to tell you which um, bags she featured. You'll just have to go over and check out her content um, there was a young lady whose video I watched and she unboxed a new Buckley in natural Florentine, gorgeous. She ended up with it on her head, like pulled it over and it like covered, can't think of the name of it, but, um, her channel, not a handbag channel. It's more about weight loss um, based on the description that I read. But there's some interesting Dooney content. Um, so if you have some free time this evening or your lunch break for tomorrow, or if you're like me when I'm getting dressed in the morning, I'll have either a tablet or it on the TV or on my phone while I'm getting dressed and just kind of catching up on anything that uploaded over the night, or if I don't find anything Dooney, then I will watch videos of other content that I follow that is not purse related on YouTube. So please make sure that you're checking my Tribe Sisters out. Um, Mrs. Q will likely be back with a um, pre- that's not what she calls it. She does not call it. Oh, um, uh, for real Friday Eve, because she will not be available this Friday. So stay on the lookout for Thursday. We'll be hanging out on Mrs. Q's channel and then watch the community post as well as listen in on Mrs. Q's channel so that you know who is hosting Tribe Time this Saturday morning. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. 
hit the thumbs up before you head out if this is your first time here or you're here often and you have not hit the subscribe button and the bell i would kindly ask that you do so before you head out thank you so very much until next time i do hope that you find something that feeds your addiction take care